Hello everyone, my name is Alex, and this video is to present my 5112 term project. My project is called Mac Siri. As you all know, Siri on iPhone is a very powerful tool, and it's uh, a pity that MacBook doesn't have this kind of tool, so I decided to make one. This is a simple version of Siri so that it can uh, take some command you say and do what you said. Uh, so that the user can use the MacBook more conveniently and effectively. Let's look at this program first. It starts by appearing at the top right corner of your screen. Also, the window is unresizable to make sure that it will not take over a large area of your screen. Also, this window stays on the top of uh, all the windows so that you can see this program at any time. Even if you open a lot of programs. Let's go into the main pro uh, part of this program. Good morning. What can I help you? If you need help, press H or say what can you do? Okay, it starts by a greeting and the greeting is based on your system time. Um, now it's 7.07 in the morning and it says good morning. If you open it in the, in the afternoon, it will say good afternoon. If I'm the first time to use this program, I don't know what to uh, what to do. I can press Edge for help. It gives you all the instructions on how to use this program and all the supported command it has. So if you don't know what to say, you can go to the help and check it. Um, let's have a try. Oh, uh, you can see that here is a small icon, Siri icon, at the bottom of the program, and this is the only icon you are using this program, so that this program is very simple and easy to use. And you can activate it by clicking, click on it, or press S on your keyboard. What can you do? You can try saying mute on mute. Mm -hmm. It randomly picks a supported command and uh, tell you to try this. I'm not going to try this. I'm going to do something with the music. Play music. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. It goes to the previous song. Stop music. No problem. See, the music is stopped. I can also turn the volume down and up by saying the command. I'm not going to show this. I'm going to show you something else. Uh, another cool feature of my program is to send message. Send message to 412-889-7460. I can do that. Tell me the content. Hi, I'm Alex. Do you want to send it? Yes. Message sent. Since this is my own phone number, so I received the same message, I can also send message to someone in my contacts. Let's have a try. Send a message to E L I A S. I can do that. Tell me the content. Hello, my name is Alex. Do you want to send it? Yes. Message sent. See? This message is successfully sent to one of my friends. Also, okay, this is the second feature of my uh, cool feature of my program. The third is its powerful search function. I can search it, uh, search whatever I want in either Google, Wikipedia, or in the App Store, even in my computer. Let's have a try. 
Search for Carnegie Mellon University in Google. I will search it on Google. Yes, it searches for Carnegie Mellon University on the Google. Search for Call of Duty in App Store. I will search it in App Store. It opens the App Store, type in Call of Duty, and search for it. Search for Term Project in My Computer. I will search it using Spotlight. Yeah, it searches for Term Project using the Spotlight. Okay, this is the demonstration of the search function. Also, the last feature I want to demonstrate is I can combine all the commands into the single command so that it will do all the command um, respectively. Let's have a try. Go to google.com and then take a screenshot. Okay. It opens the Google. Done. It is on and the then desktop. Take a screenshot. Here it is. That's pretty cool, right? If you don't want to use this program anymore, you can just say goodbye. Thank you for using. And it closes itself automatically. There are a, a lot of other features of my program, and I'm not going to demonstrate it, it at all uh, because the time limit. And I hope you enjoy this video, and thank you again.